Hello there, and today we're going to clean out our Peugeot camper van. Uh, the reason being for this is because we're going to sell it, and we bought a transit auto sleeper. So now the Peugeot's got to go. Sorry to see her go, but she's been a good old van, but it's time to move on. Frosty teaspoons for a cup of tea. Oh. Right, <laughs> now I've cleaned it all out. <laughs> it's amazing where it all comes from and what you actually take on holiday and what you actually don't need. And it's surprising how big these Peugeot camper vans actually are inside. The amount of crap that we've ordered that we don't actually need to go away with. You're thinking, what am I doing? <laughs> Never mind, I'm sure we all do that anyway. Right, now I'll give you a little guided tour of the Auto Sleeper Sympathy. Right, here we have the uh, freeway fridge. It's uh, quite a nice size. It's got a small freezer box. Works off 240 volt, 12 volt and gas. It's in working order. And then we have the uh, there's a cutlery drawer. There's a drawer under the sink, which is quite good. It's quite size, and it's got another little cutlery tray underneath there, which is good. It slides back underneath there. Then you've got the bigger cupboard down here. It's a nice bit of storage. Obviously, we leave the uh, kettle and that in there. And then you've got a cupboard under the uh, under the cooker, which is nice and storage. Yep, and gas taps are there, and the cooker itself is fair size. Got a good size oven. The grill pan. Yeah. And at the top, and cooker. It's a th three ring hob, which the sympathies have, and you've got the hot and cold water supply. All working lovely. You've got your 240 volt sockets. The, uh, yeah, the workshop, nice size workshop. Uh, and above you've got your 12 volt lights working you've got your skylight and you've got your your fly screens which you go over the top like that and then you've got your, you've got your fly screen and you sort of got your blackout blind the light on that one it's a nice size skylight it's a oh, it opens up easy enough they're all good this is a 240 volt light which works off the mains when you're plugged into the campsite. And these windows have got the same, they've got the, the fly screens and the blackout ones. So they're all good. And the big skylight at the top is exactly the same. So it let, lets in loads of light. All right, all right, as we go along, we've got the uh, toilet and shower in there, which is not a bad size. Really for the size of the van, this is quite big really. I mean, you've got a, a cassette toilet, the Fetford cassette toilet, and you've got your your sink that pulls down. Uh, there's a little uh, clip on there, just pull that to one side. You've got the little bathroom cabinet. You've got your shower this side. It's all in good working order. It's not a bad size. You've got your, your vent in there. Yeah, it's not a bad size uh, bathroom, to be honest with you. And then you've got this, this extra cupboard door, which makes more space sort of like it blocks you off if you like which is pretty good because it gives you a sense of more room we've got a table in there tucked away in there and then you've got the extra cushion for the bed there and you've got another one behind here these all make the bed 
make the, the uh, which is good. And then you've got a little top cupboard at the top. Very useful storage cupboard. The bed is simple to make. And you've got your Myland table legs. You have the table situated behind the uh, behind the bunk, which is there. To make to make the bed, you pull that out. There's your other table, which is good. That's all gone. Move your seats forward, you put your extra cushions in. It's obviously you turn the passenger seat round. You turn your passenger seat round, you can sleep either way really. But the extra cushions, they go in when you turn the seat round, put the seat forward and you put your three cushions in. Simple. The look of it. There you go. You have to lift that up. <laughs> That's it, all made. Yeah, there you go. It does, yeah. The Peugeot top box is definitely smaller than the transit one. They do fit in there. There you go. All done. Pretty good. Right, I'll give you a demo on the uh, side awning. Let's put that in there. And this handle folds up so you can uh, unwind it. There it comes. Oh. <laughs> Never goes to the plane. go like that so you get it out far enough what I normally do. Pull the awning down to about this far, what I normally do. Pull the leg out and then wind that. Let it fall for a minute. We go for about there. Gonna make the bumper look a bit nicer with some uh, trim black, which uh, should. Rub it in. See the difference or not?
hope you like the uh, the tour of the camper van and that's it for now if you do please like and subscribe to this channel more videos coming later and bye for now